hey everyone welcome back so now we are going to have a complete hands-on on how to create this user group and policy so let's just have a focus upon how one can create a user with a various different combination with policy attached to it without policy attachment or including inside the group without group so let's just try to explore what are the different ways one can have a user and uh, simultaneously we are going to log in into a same user again so let me go to my amazon cloud console okay so i'll just simply navigate to my iam and we are going to create our very first ever user okay so currently i'm not exploring anything related to this particular uh, dashboard uh, eventually throughout this whole series uh, we'll have a better idea so on the left hand side you can see we have options like uh, user groups user roles so let's just explore about the user and we don't have any user so whatever user is currently available that is a root user through which i have currently logged in and whose name is ankit mistri and it has been associated with one root level account id so whatever new users we will create that will eventually become a part of this particular root account okay now this root account if you just have a look at any of the service let's say cognito i'll open or maybe let's say ec2 i'll open oops i can open in another tab i should have opened in another tab every single service i just want to say that uh, i have access directly if i just so uh, for let's say s3 uh, storage service i have access to storage service so by default this root account has a complete access to every single service and that is like a super admin for your account okay uh, i can go to even iam and i can create a user so anything i can do with the account and that is nothing but a root user but now we are going to create a new user that is like a sub user inside your account and that will be a part of uh, your original account id now if you have a look at on the top if you just select any of the other service they are the region dependent so in that particular case you would have seen any particular one of the region where you want to deploy your uh, resources or you want to create your resources but this im doesn't belong to any of the region specific so that's why it's a global by nature okay so whatever user will create that will be eventually going to display here and currently we don't have any user if you want to refresh the user list still we don't have anything so let me just create our first ever user okay so username and uh, first ever thing is username so uh, in a last uh, video in a powerpoint presentation i just kept the name like a john and alice and a bob so that is like a very usual familiar name but now i'm going to use a little different name and that will be associated with whatever permissions uh, we will set it here whatever different option we will set while creation of those user so without giving a first ever username what i want to give like a provide user access to your aws management console so that means there are multiple different ways uh, once the user will be created you will be able to uh, enter into a, your aws account so if you just select this particular option that means in this kind of aws management console you have a, have a access if you do not select this particular option that means programmatic way only you can have option so let's say user at console with console option so i'm just going to select this particular option and for that i just want to create the iam user forget about this particular option for time being specify a user in identity center later we are going to explore about it so for now user i mean user management console i just want to give the access so that with this particular user okay uh, let's not give this way let's say user console okay i just want to enter in the same way we have entered into i mean via a root account you can always use your auto generated password so once the user will be created you will get those auto generated password in case you want to give some custom password you can always provide those custom password at this particular location uh, so let's say for our user i'm just going to give the password like 
let's say something like uh, any usual name i'm just going to keep it okay i'm not going to show you the password for it next thing is user must create a new password at the next sign in recommendation that means the first time when the user uh, start login it needs to be created a new password so for time being i'm just going to disable it let me press next now here we have uh, multiple options are available you want to add uh, this user to some particular group currently we haven't learned uh, anything about the group so i'm not going to select this particular option because once you uh, add a user to this but any of the group that means by default whatever policy you will attach to those group that will be inherited to user you can even copy uh, the permission also so copy all group members attach manage policy or inline policy from some existing user that means if you have some existing user so from those user you can import uh, or copy all those permission but we don't have any other user so don't worry all the option we are going to explore so for now i'm just going to uh, select the last one where i can manually attach the policy so i have selected the last one but i'm not going to attach any policy for now okay let's just keep it like a blank and by default any of the user you will create doesn't have any kind of access you need to manually provide access to any particular services uh, last one set boundary optional i mean set permission boundary so that is like a little uh, high level concept so for that i have planned a completely new demo so later we are going to explore in the same uh, web series or i won't say web series in a complete uh, i mean whole series uh, we are going to explore so for now let me just go for next and you can see the username there is a custom password i have set and required password is set so i just kept it no no permission being attached and in case you want to just add some tags you can always add it so let's say this is something like a user i am creating for my youtube playlist so i'm just uh, giving you like uh, okay so what what kind of tag i want to add let's say so this particular user for what purpose i am uh, using so purpose that is like like let's say console because we want to allow this user to access from the console and let me quickly create user now moment you create uh, the user you will be able to see that there is a one console sign in url uh, being given there is a username and password definitely i am not going to show you for now you can even download the complete uh, csv file so let me just download it and i'll show you uh, what is inside this csv so you can have a look at this is a username this is a password and this is a console sign in url so uh, this three information itself being downloaded as a csv file you can even uh, email this sign in instruction so eventually it's is going to open some uh, email client in your uh, local machine and it will send uh, the complete uh, sign in information okay so this thing i just want to i don't want to send it so let me just go back to return to my user list and currently i have a one user uh, being created who is having a console access so i just given the name like a user console let me just go inside and if i just try to explore no policy being attached no permission boundary okay no group uh, it has been added and tax so we have added one tax so it should appear like a purpose so the console okay co security credential and access advisor don't worry any of the thing for now okay so now we have a user console as a new user i just want to log in into it so i'm just going to open my new incognito window and i'll just go to aws console let me just go to aws management console let me sign in now there is a one interesting thing earlier we try to log in as a root account okay so in that particular case you do not need to provide this account id you just uh, provide like a username and password so here you can just swap to uh, selection of uh, your username and password as a root user now they have currently switched to the new ui so let me just enable for the new sign in itself so we'll have a better ui okay so you can see root user but now whatever new user we have created that is not a root user that is a normal iam user so i'm just going to go ahead with the iam user 
and first everything i just need to provide the account id now from where i'll get account id so i'll go back to my root account and you will be able to see on a top right corner i have a account id so i can just simply copy so for uh, account id whatever we have got i can just provide the account id and i am indirectly telling that whatever new i am user through which i am just going to log in that is a part of this account id okay afterwards again i just need to provide the username and password so that is my user console and i just need to provide password okay and let me sign in the moment i sign in after successful login it will redirect me to the amazon web console and you will be able to see that everywhere there is a access denied any service you can take see this is access denied some thing related to let's say let's just try for some other service here let's say anywhere aws data exchange okay uh, they are expecting that select some other region because the whatever default region being selected that is not being supported so we are expecting some error here or something like access denied okay let me make uh, fonts little bigger okay so once you try to do i mean something inside it uh, it will immediately give the error let me just go ahead with little more familiar services like let's say s3 okay so simple storage stuff and let's say within that s3 if i just try to create some bucket let's say with some random name and some number and let me just quickly uh, without worrying about any option if i just try to create immediately i got error permission denied if i just try for ec2 instance see api error that means it i don't have any kind of access to any of the service because we haven't attached any kind of policy to it see here also you are not authorized to perform this operation so from this uh, uh, what we have learned so far that in this user console just one user being created where it has been given the access to the console but so far we haven't attached any kind of policy okay we haven't added this to any of the group so it is able to enter into management console but it doesn't have any kind of access so that is the one thing let me create one more new user let's say here i am not going to provide any management console access instead of that uh, just programmatic access i just want to give you so let's say program okay user program okay user programmatic way i am not going to select this particular option let me press next and i don't want to attach any policy for now let me press next and you will be able to see that user program that is a username but console password type is none and in this particular case you have to use some kind of access id and access key to enter into aws but through this particular user you won't be able to enter inside your aws management console so so far uh, i mean don't worry about this particular option later any of we are going to explore much more uh, that how programmatic way you can access uh, your aws uh, with this particular user so so far we have just op i mean explored this particular option and created two user there are lot other things uh, regarding to setting up permission so more user we are going to create and you will have a better and better idea and in your, our existing user also will add more and more permission so that uh, our existing user like a user console uh, will be able to access some permission out of it okay so for now i'm just going to end this uh, video i hope you enjoy listening this video and please do like and comment on this video and please do subscribe my channel in the next video uh, we'll just have a continuation from here we'll create more users so we'll have a much more hands on related to user creation inside the aws management console